Hey guys, this is how to start your own AI race. AI race is a race against the computer, which is not online. It will not affect any of your ranking or your skill to your iRacing profile. So the way you want to start is open your iRacing UI. Once that is done, you just have to go to AI racing right here on the left on the tab. From here, you have you can create yourself your own season. You can create your own rousers, but we're only here for a single race. So just go and click on single race. Once that is open, you have your track selection and all those selection up top in the circles right here. So first off, you want to select your racetrack. So add the track. We'll go with Burn Hatch. Then your second option is going to be your car right here. So select your car, which is going to be anything. So GP3. And then you're going to have your race options right here. So enforce tire change ruling if you want to do a long race. Uh, start with qualifying tire choices, which doesn't really affect any G3 races unless you want to do some F1 racing. And if you're starting off in iRacing, I would suggest you using disable car damage. But if you're uh, not new with iRacing, do not enable this. Uh, Ford selection is going to be your weather, weather selection. So your sky, your temperatures, your humidity, your wind speed, and your initial initial weather variation. You can choose to generate your own weather if you choose to. Right here. Your fifth selection is going to be your race sessions. So in your race sessions, you can have a practice for an hour, two hours, whichever you want. You have a qualifier, which is going to be your place where you're going to qualify for your main race. Or you can just jump up to the race and select them out of laps or time that you want. So we'll just go over to the race. Then sixth option is going to be your AI opponents. iRacing is going to pre-select your opponents by the car that you selected. So I selected a GT3 car and iRacing selected all the GT3 cars available. You can add or remove any of those cars to your will or you can add whichever car that you want. You can create pretty much any roster that you want or any AI opponents that you want. Your option here is going to be your number of AI drivers. So right here I have 24. You can go, go all the way up to 60, which I do not recommend. And you can go all the way down to 1 if you want. Uh, we'll go with 24 because 25 driver race is a good race. And then you have your skill spread. You can go from 0% all the way to 125%. And you can select whichever your skill spread is going to be into your AI race. Your third selection is going to be your grid position. If you have qualifying selected, your grid position won't be an option. If your qualifier isn't selected, you have your grid position selected. So you choose whichever where you want to start. If you do have a qualifying, depending on where you qualify, your grid position will be determined by the, by the qualifying. Now for your track conditions right here, you have your leave marbles on the track and generate track state or start with a track state pre-generated. And then you have your time of the day. So you can sp have a specific time and date, afternoon, sunrise, night, whichever you you want to your liking. And then you have a time multiplier, which is just going to accelerate your time during the race. Once that is all selected to your own liking, you just click continue. You have your car, your track, and your temperatures or track state, all you want to do is click race. Once iRacing is started, you'll be able to just press on grid, be on the grid with all the drivers, and be able to start your race. I hope that helped you out. Thank you for watching.